a full screen here, ba bastard. Hold enter. I did. Oh, I didn't. I think it's. God damn it! The changes are not... The Adventure of the Great Departure. The Adventure of the Unbreakable Speckled Band. The Runaway Room. Episode 3. Episode 4. The Adventure of the Clouded Kokoro. The Hound of the Basque. How many, how many episodes is that? Is this multiple games? Episode 5. One game with five episodes? Japan, after opening its doors, a push for cultural transformation brought great waves of Western influence to this far eastern island nation. The revolution washed over the land, making life in the capital exciting and unsettling. It was a period of great change, and some were swept away by the tide. Murder! Who done it? But for one man, the turbulence of that era was just the beginning. I didn't do it. Extraordinary story. It was me. <laughs> the, I guess this is the grandpa of Phoenix, right? The Adventure of the Great Departure. Can it be that just beyond the doors to this quiet little chamber is the highest court in Japan waiting to decide my fate? What? Oh. Oh no, nothing. Save your glares, murderer. Yeah, you want to try that? Ryo Nosuke. Ryo Nosuke. Mm -hmm. Naruhodo. Naruhodo. Second year student at the Imperial Yumei University. Three days ago, I found, uh, somehow found myself in the middle of a horrifying incident, and now here I am awaiting my trial. That's enough. He's not obliged to listen to such abuse, officer. Who are you? I am this man's lawyer. I will be defending him today. You will hold your tongue.
What are you apologizing to me for? Oh, I, no, I suppose it wasn't my fault. But really, Kazuma, never meant to drag you into this, I'm sorry. So he's also a student. Maybe further along than we are. Yume University professor murdered in cold blood by student. But obviously, you didn't actually do it, did you? Of course not. You have to believe me, I didn't do it. I, I could never murder someone. Murder? Oh, I gotta look up history on the murder. No, okay. That's not how you do it. Then there's nothing to worry about. Straighten yourself up, hold your head high. You mean, I believe you. I know you're innocent. Kazuma Asogi, my best friend, also in his second year at Yume University. But he's far more clever than I, a star student, in fact. He's even a qualified lawyer. Impressive, considering he's still an undergraduate. It's not that impressive. The very concept of lawyers is only a few years old. Here in Japan, anyway. So I think the court system is different in this game than it is in the other. We'll have to see how the court system is different and how that changes the mechanics of the game. But regardless, I play these games for the nice music, the cool characters, and, you know, I love courtroom drama kind of stuff, movies and things like that. What's your favorite courtroom drama movie, chat? And why is it My Cousin Vinny? <laughs> That's a good one. Uh, to Kill a Mockingbird is another good Tequila one. Tequila Mockingbird? Those Tequila are great. Tequila Mockingbird. That's a great uh, Sunday cocktail. Wonderful. Yeah. A few good men. You uh, said exactly the same. You know, I don't think I've seen a few good men yet. I'm gonna have to really? watch that. Yeah, I'm proud. I I've seen obviously. You you know you can handle the truth. Everybody's mm -hmm. seen that clip. But I'm proud to have a friend like you, Kazuma. Truly, three days ago. Yes, that's when all this started. Hey, congratulations, Kazuma. It looks like you're gonna get to study abroad at last. I know. I've been forever dreaming of this day. Finally, those government elites have acknowledged my academic achievements and success in court. So you'll be representing Japan as you immerse yourself in the most sophisticated legal system in the world. I'm really happy for you. And proud as your friend. All right, he's a living legend. Oh no, he's the murderer! <laughs> I want to bring about the change in our own legal system. That's why I have to cross the ocean to see the real thing with my own eyes. He's just trying to get away. Arrest this man! The heart of the British Empire. The heart of the British. I wish I could see it too. Then come with me. We'd have a wild time tearing up the streets of Her Majesty's City of London together. If only it were that simple. Oh dear, look at the time. I'd better be going. All right, I'll see you later. I think I'll stay and enjoy this place a while longer. Good idea. After all, it's not every day that you get to visit a high-class Western restaurant like this. You know, these games get, you know, really involved. And when I start playing them, I fucking, you know, marathon them. Because I can't put them down. And there's no really good save point there's mm -hmm. to exit. Harland70, thank you very much. I thought this game was fantastic. I'm glad you're getting a chance to check it out. That was for Kenna. Kenya and I'm 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 rapid firing a bunch of these. I'm gonna play more of them on stream, more of them off stream. We are trying to get as many games in uh, for my top ten lists as possible, just to see if you know these were worth putting on there or not. There's uh, this is not a PC indie game. This. These, this is a mainline series. Of, well, you know, I don't know if it's got massive sales. I don't think it has massive sales. In fact, this thing came out a long, long time ago, and I've been dying to play it because I played all the Ace Attorneys. I'm in love with the Ace Attorneys. And this was released in Japan exclusively, and we, we've never got to play it before. So they finally released it in the States last year. So I was really excited to play it, but I never got a chance around to it. I do want to play some PC indie games that could potentially hit the list. I hear Inscription is very good, so I've already downloaded that one. I hear Balan Wonderland is game of the year, so I don't That's I'm definitely got to gotta be on the list. <laughs> Main character. 
Okay. A soji. May I have a word? Who are these people? I must ask you a question. I didn't know you were coming, Professor. See, and I kind of just love the music in, in these games. Like, in characters have their own themes and stuff. Like, say, oh, hold on. Let me see if I could get this theme to stop. Options. Go to audio real quick. And let me turn the music off so I can share with you my favorite music. Um. Uh, let's see who is my favorite thing one of my favorite themes um who's the gum shoe let's see let's view the full playlist my there yeah, detective gun sh gum sh gum shoe <laughs> this is so good Hit it. Best music. <laughs> Now you listen to that on loop as you're trying to discover and investigate and shit is fucking great. I love that guy's music and theme song. There's a bunch of other really good ones. Who is your favorite if you played the series? But that hits hard, man. It, do, 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 de, do, do, do. Pretty impressive what they could do with a, a limited amount of uh, fucking notes and shit. Yeah, okay, this is a good thing. Yeah, Fragrance of Dark Coffee, that's a really good one. Fragrance of Dark Coffee. I, I, yeah. You advocating for the defense in this trial was a sudden decision. It seems there may be some confusion about procedures today as a result. Who is this man? I feel as though I've seen him at a university before. I see. Now I'll go at once then. I shall accompany you. All right then. Ryu, I'll see you in the courtroom. Yes, thanks, Kazuma. Ryu no soke. Uh, ugh, this is awkward. If I may. Yes, sorry. You must be the defendant. Ryu no soke. Nar who. Naru Hodo, I believe. Yes, yes, that's right. My name is Eugene Mikotoba. I'm a professor of forensic medicine at the university. Mikotoba! I've heard of that name from Kazuma before. As I recall, he's been pushing to get the government to agree to Kazuma studying abroad. Soji has told me about you. You and he are best friends, I understand. As such, I feel you should know. Well, Soji has been granted permission to go and study in Great Britain. However, if he should fail to defend you in today's trial, he will not! <laughs> I'm afraid that the permission will be revoked. No! And never granted again. Ever! <laughs> My God! God! Tension. Ah, as I suspected, you were not aware of this. I had a feeling that Soji may have chosen not to tell you. He's agreed to defend me, knowing that if he fails, his dreams will be shattered. But I don't understand. Why would the government do such a thing? The administration has chose from a large number of applicants for overseas study. It's very difficult to persuade them to grant permission, even in the most favorable of circumstances. Sounds like Japan. If I don't believe it, or I don't believe it, he said. 
But I, I didn't do it, I swear. I'm not a murderer. I'm sure that's true. Nevertheless, I can assure you that proving your innocence will be no easy task. You see, there are certain peculiarities about today's trial. What do you mean? You'll understand. What should I do? I'm not going to suggest doing anything that could lead to a conviction. <clears throat> as soon as the trial starts, the judge will pose a certain question to the defense. When that happens, you must answer before anyone else. You must say, I do. I do? But what will the question be? Do you accept these accusations brought before you? Of course not. Don't trust him. This courtroom is about to begin. Ah, you would see more. Serendipitous discussions are to be cut short. So allow me to summarize. Kazuma Osoji must not be the defense lawyer in this trial. Of course, as the defendant, the final decision is yours. What are you waiting for? Do you want to find found guilty for failing to appear? Get moving. There's no point in anyone advocating for the likes of you anyway. God, these bailiffs are assholes. This is it. If the trial goes badly, Kazuma's dream of studying abroad are over. And what's more, I'll be found guilty of murder. And so, with absolutely no idea of what lay ahead, I embarked on that unforgettable trial. You'll spend the rest of your life in prison, but your best friend won't go to get to go to Great Britain. He'll be fine. <laughs> he has to live and do all these other things, but he's like, he can't go on vacation and do what he wants to do. Uh, it's so hard to choose, and he's the star, star lawyer student. I need him on my side. Defend me. Assist me. Chet, these times are important. Actually, no. Once they start going over what the events, then then that's important. But uh, courtroom 9 a.m. Oh, God. <laughs> so this is the courtroom. The Supreme Court of Judicature. 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 No court in the land has more power. I don't much like the look of those people sitting in the public gallery. Lots of military and other uniforms. Mm. The powers that be have demanded that this be a secret trial. A secret trial? A trial that's closed to ordinary members of the public. Only military and government may attend. What? Why? It'll become clear in time, but for now, you need to concentrate. It's about to begin. Is it an a Hey! <laughs> what the fuck? That guy looks familiar. <laughs> That's the goddamn scrappy lawyer that you always beat up first in the first case. And then the judge was always incompetent and the goofball. The court will now hear the trial, but this guy looks a little more competent. This must be his great, 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 great ancestor. <laughs> The prosecution is ready, Your Excellency. Before we begin, there's one point of order I would like to confirm. Yesterday evening, the defense made a last minute request for a change of advocate. That is correct. I made the request myself. Normal procedures for the defendant advocacy to be decided two days prior to trial. As this is an unusual circumstance, I'm obliged to ask for a final confirmation now. Who advocates for the defendant in this trial? <gasps> this is it. This must be the question. Who's going to defend me? That's the question the professor meant. But then, if I say, I do, I need to answer quickly. What should I do? I do! I want to be a lawyer. Your Excellency, no confirmation is needed. As I am standing here besides the defendant, I hope it's clear who will have yes. the case. What? Did you hit? Yeah, I did. Oh, okay. Uh, I, I, I will defend myself. <laughs> what is the meaning of this unruly outburst? 
I I would like to inform the court that that I will be defending myself <laughs> because I want my friend to go on vacation, and I don't care about my life. I'm going to prison for the rest of my life. What are you playing at? Professor Mikotoba told me everything just now before the trial. He did what? He said that your dreams of studying abroad would be dashed if you were to lose. <laughs> How sad. It means you don't have faith in me. You think I won't be able to get you off. No, it's not that. I, I, it's just an uh, off chance that things don't go well. I couldn't bear to be the reason that you... <laughs> yes. I knew that's how you feel. Which is exactly why I decided not to tell you. I was about to say, it's like, huh. Okay, he's got to come into his own as his own defense lawyer. And so, gotta take it over from your friend. Renouncing his own counsel, really? <laughs> Make no mistake, counsel. This merely shows that the defendant's innocence is so apparent. He's confident he can speak for himself. Hey! What? Oh! Yes! Exactly! Exactly what I wasn't thinking. I'm not confident at all. In fact, yeah, this is. <laughs> that's Phoenix's ancestor, alright. I realize that you're in charge now, but still, uh, try not to look so bewildered. Mm. Well, for a mere university student to be brought here before the Supreme Court, you must have perpetuated most heinous crime indeed. Wait, the prosecution doesn't know what I did? <laughs> Do I make myself clear, defendant? Yes, Your Excellency. It is therefore my duty to assess your competence for the task you have undertaken. My competence? Uh, what does competence mean? <laughs> He's questioning your ability to do the job. Kindly state before the court the name of the victim in this case. Well, uh, I've heard his name more times than I care to remember. Plus, you but... killed him. Away. I didn't kill him. I didn't do shit. Oh, no. I, I can't even remember. I'm so nervous. All right. So he's going to help you out. He'll be your legal counsel. Let me guess. Your mind's gone blank. All the relevant information can be found in the court record. But I can't even find that. It's simple. You can access the court record with the press of RB. If you ever find you've forgotten something, just consult that. It's all in there. I just have to press RB for the court record. All right. Here's the list of evidence you've collected. Proof that I'm a student. I always wear it on the collar of my uniform jacket. Um, and then we've got the list of people. John H. Wilson, the victim in this case, 47 years old. He was visiting Professor of Medicine from the British Empire. Okay. So remember, everything to do with the current case can be found in the current record. Yeah. Do Tutorial. You know professor murdered him? Mm. Forensic medicine, mm. more medicine. Yeah, medicine, 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 that guy, he, and then he doesn't want the star student to defend because, me. Yeah, He's trying, he wants to get uh, off. Yeah. So find Everyone's the victim. trying to get off. And then press yes. present. Yes. The victim's name was Dr. John H. Wilson. What's the H stand for? Did I win? Did I win? Am I off? <laughs> um, I don't know. Horatio. Well, at least you can remember the name of your university. Dr. Wilson was a visiting was visiting a professor from or a visiting professor from England. Indeed. Profound implications. The British Empire is at present our country's most valuable foreign ally. And as most of you will be aware, we have just signed a new treaty. Anglo-Japanese Treaty of Friendship and Navigation. 
And yet, despite these delicate circumstances, the blood of an Englishman has been spilt on our soil. You two are both undergraduates at the Imperial Umayan University, are you not? Murdering a professor from the very institution that provides your education? Have you no honor? Ugh. I didn't do it. Court their four wishes for a speedy resolution. In other words, our feeble government is scared of upsetting England's policymakers. And you're a convenient and expendable scapegoat to blame for this crime. So, that's why this trial has unusual peculiarities, is it? Exactly, our government needs to convict someone as quickly as possible. All because the victim was an Englishman. But nationalities and treaties won't make a difference for me here. The fact is, I was there at the scene of the crime. But so were you, Kazuma! <laughs> oh dear, look at the time. I better be going. All right, I'll see you later. I think I'll stay and enjoy this place a little longer. Good idea. After all, it's not every day that you get to visit a high-class Western restaurant like this. See you in English class tomorrow then, partner. Partner. The British Empire. Wow, it's incredible to think. Wait. Wait, what? There he is. What is autoplay? Why is there Put the computer down? Or put the controller down? I introduced myself to Dr. Wilson. It's not gonna make choices for me, it better not. And now then, let me pose my next grade so that I don't have to press a button every fucking time. Boop, 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 boop. I'm glad they added something like that. How did this professor of medicine, Dr. Whoa, it's going a little fast. Stay before the court, the cause of death. Cause of death, ah, uh, well. Too much blood outside the body. <laughs> That's even if he bled. He got shot, so yeah. Evidence. Find the piece of evidence. Okay. Do it now! There you go. Death occurred a little after 2 p.m. Remember that, chat? 2 p.m. It was caused by loss of blood from gunshot. Just as Alex surmised, the bullet did not pass through the victim's body, however. Present. Yes! Well, uh... Uh, according to this document, uh, the victim suffered a hemorrhage. Learn to read, you imbecile! That's the postmortem report. Sorry, yes. Uh, that's right. Uh, the um, the postmortem report. But here in Japan, a police officer merely inspects the body and draws conclusions that way. Huh. This so-called photographic print of the scene of the... Uh -huh. Scorch marks around the bullet hole produced by a powder explosion. In other words, we should assume that the victim was shot at close range. Yes, makes sense. Mm -hmm. Thank you. The court will now accept this modern scientific evidence. He was shot from the chest and subsequently died. So, so he was murdered to death? It appears so, hmm. as he is no longer with us. Oh, where'd he go? <laughs> Very well. I am satisfied with your answers. You may defend yourself. Let us start the trial. Hoy -ya! Certainly, Your Excellency. He was like... Without further ado, in order to better apprise the... The prosecution hereby calls his first witness. Who was there at the scene of the crime when it happened? <gasps> what? Somebody's gonna lie and fucking say that I did it? Fuck them. I think I may have worked out with the, pro the professor. You mean Dr. Nico told what? Clearly, you're the defense lawyer today, not me. But that doesn't mean... Well, I can still act as your assistant. Ah, of course. Hmm. 
He's stuck as Orion. Uh, Rain in that crazy look of bewilderment and control the cold sweats. <laughs> cold stares rain in your headband. Aha, here comes the theme song. So, oh, this suspicious witness has a fancy theme. My name is Sir. Uh, I am the head waiter. La Carnival. What? He's sick. He's coughing blood. I don't trust him. He, he, uh, he got hurt somehow. Okay. Mm. Three days ago. So you're saying murder. that the murder was an accident? Accident. Also, Nagasan. You will kindly tell the court what happened. At once. No petty interjections. Just after 2 p.m., we were a few diners in. Lunchtime rush was over. There was only three tables occupied. Hmm. It was when I was in the kitchen putting away the cutlery. Bang! Oh my god. I found the victim, an English gentleman, slept in his chair. And standing immediately beside him, a gun in hand was, was the... Yes. Uh, oh. Hold on. Let me just clarify something here. While I did pick up the gun that I found lying on the floor besides the professor, I did not shoot him. I believe I asked you to refrain from petty interjections. The court wishes to listen to the witness's report of what he saw, you amateur. Penalized? I don't want to be penalized. We must quietly listen to the witness. Saint Judge Judy. I tell you to shut up if you start talking while the other person is talking. And there was nobody else standing next to the victim. That doesn't mean the person couldn't have just run away. No one else around that table. What's the matter? That, that's just not right. When I went over to Dr. Wilson to say hello. <gasps> what the? There was a woman sitting opposite. Really? That's not something the waiter could have missed. I've been warned about interjecting, but still I must keep quiet. Wait and see. Let the man lie. Let him fall into his own lies and then I will tear them apart. If your parents tell you to study, you're the kind of man who would diligently get to work, aren't weren't you? I, I suppose I am. Never gotten into the university otherwise. But you can't just always follow the rules in life, you know. What? But, but th that's not court procedure. I said good day, sir. Alright. You've scarred me, I won't forget. Ion Raid. Thank you. Yes. Just a moment. Dr. Wilson wasn't alone that day, I'm sure of it. There was a lady sitting with him at the same table. What are we gonna do with you? With your blatant disregard for court proceedings. Oh. Could it be that the accused, this mere student, is not a real lawyer after all?
Perhaps your memory is hazy? Mm. No. The deceased gentleman came to dine alone. I don't believe it. This guy's lying. I actually have a rough plan of the restaurants as it was that day. Please, have a look, if you'd like to. Interesting. Let me see. Sketch of the establishment layout drawn by yourself, I presume? That's right. I'm afraid I used the back of my business card. It was a turbulent situation. However, as you can see, the gentleman in question was seated alone. What does that show? I don't see anything that says... Well, you're clearly a very uh, conscientious waiter. Thank you, sir. Court record. This motherfucker's lying. Let's look at the photograph. Maybe there's another glass on the table. Yeah, he he's nervous that it got taken into evidence. Wait. What? Oh, hold on. Hang on. It's not in the evidence yet. Well... Is there a problem? Hand the plan to the court officer at once. Uh, of course, here you are. What mm. was that about? He's been completely calm and collected until then. <coughs> yep, definitely got a touch of the consumption. At the moment uh, the gunshot was heard in the uh, restaurant, the only person in close proximity was the defendant. It would seem we are looking at a black and white case here. Defendant. Yes. If you admit your guilt at this stage, the court is willing to look mercifully upon you. In other words, you may have some small reprieve in terms of your inevitable punishment. I call this waiter as an unsworn witness in order to explain the details of this case to the court unsworn I must warn the defense if you are determined to pursue matters further in this trial the prosecution has decisive evidence from sworn witnesses who were present at the scene of the crime what do you think I should do Kazuma what do you mean well I'm Gonna be found guilty one way or another, it seems. Wouldn't it be sensible to plead guilty and hope for a more lenient sentence? Mm -mm. How dare you disrespect me? I trust you, and so because I trust you, you must defend yourself. You have a duty. Don't give up on yourself. The battle has not even begun yet. The defense please not guilty. Stop making empty threats and bring out your witnesses. What's this guy's name? Auchi or Uchi? Ouchi. Ouchi. Yeah, he's hurt. Yeah, it might be Ouchi. That dumb, strong, young mouth of yours will be silenced forever. The prosecution calls its next witness. Bring forth the witnesses at once. I didn't get to, what, two witnesses at once? Witnesses, kindly state your names and occupations for the court. This is highly irregular. Yes, sir. Great Nippon Imperial Sergeant. You, oh, well, myself, I, uh, I find employ as a purveyor of fine articles of antiquity from the uh, Florence and Silver Mitch. I, I conduct my train with the... Uh, 
an antique dealer, and a soldier. They must be the diners at the other table that the waiter mentioned. I habitually take tea of the most exquisite aroma. Always post-noon. And not infrequently converse with the interested parties regarding the curios which I make my business. I can't understand a word the old man is saying. He's an antique dealer and it sounds like he's a regular. He seeks out potential customers who may have an interest in antiques and tries to sell his wares to them. He obviously targets La Carnival because it's a high-class restaurant. Right, I see. Although, to be honest, that sergeant looks more like he'd be a seller rather than a buyer. Affirmative. The enemy unit was seen attacking the foreigner and what can only be described as an act of war, sir. That it was that black uniformed rogue infantry. You look like a baby or something. Mm -hmm. I I thought I was hearing things. Precise moment. You claim you saw the precise moment that the victim was shot dead. Starting to feel uncomfortable? If I'm honest, I was feeling uncomfortable from the start. Now, the court will hear your formal testimony, please. You will state everything you saw at the precise moment and the... Okay. Yes, sir. <laughs> it's a fucking baby. There's a baby in the courtroom somewhere. All right, here's where we can pick apart what's going on. I was ingesting a regulation beef steak at the restaurant while having a tactical discussion with the old man. Myself, I was extolling the virtues of a particularly fine golden hero to the military gentleman. At that precise moment, a firearm was discharged. I observed the enemy's actions with my own eyes. A black uniformed varsity cadet fired on the English civilian and from the back the cowardly little weasel. <clears throat> I was on my hands and knees investigating the whereabouts of my mysteriously absconded precious curio. Curio? Curio. What is it? It's a item of note curio. like a it's a cute little it's oh, like curiosity. A yeah, like uh, a valuable thing. Well, so curio cabinet. You saw the split second when the defendant fired the weapon at the victim? From the back? Yes, sir. Affirmative. That wicked university cadet, sir. The cruel and unforgiving enemy. What the fuck? Look at the old man. <laughs> what times we live in when an English gentleman may be assailed in the broad light of day. This is ridiculous. I didn't shoot anybody. All it did was pick up the gun that I saw lying on the floor. What kind of idiot picks up a gun on this, the this floor? Your main character is one of the dumbest people that have yeah. ever lived. Yes. So. In order to make it work. You ha oh, you have He's to, yeah. so innocent and, and gullible and, and happy-go-lucky. What is this? Yeah. <laughs> After I said hello to Dr. Wilson, I went back to my table and sat drinking some coffee. Then, when I'd finished, I got up from my seat to leave the restaurant. <gasps> when I noticed an English maid gone next to the chair where the professor was sitting. Oh, are you as curious? <gasps> I thought perhaps the professor had dropped it. So I bent down, and just as I was picking it up... Ah, that makes more sense. Nobody picks up a gun at the scene of a crime after that. Well, if that's the truth, then there was obviously a criminal on the scene somewhere. And somewhere in these two witnesses' testimonies, there's a clue to who the criminal was. Wait, there is? Ryunosuke, you must exercise your right to cross-examine. Cross-examine? Do it now! As we have heard, Your Excellency, there is no room for doubt in the testimony of these witnesses. The defendant is clearly guilty. 
I didn't really hear a discrepancy, but I need to review the evidence. Clearly, the testimony the court has just heard elim eliminates any vestige of doubt. Therefore, it is my grave duty to declare the verdict. Yes. Oh. oh. Ob objection. Can, can, can I do something? Ever what in the name of the emperor is the meaning of this outburst? I am, I uh, mean, the defense demands its right to a cross-examination. Let me guess. Objection! Whether or not you think he's capable of cross-examining it is irrelevant. It is our right to cross-examine. Very well. Let the defense conduct a cross-examination of the witnesses. All right. This is where the battle really begins. So the format is basically exactly the same. I was thinking it'd be slightly different with the Japanese court rules, maybe, but it seems to be pretty much the same. You cross-examine, find the lies, find the inconsistencies, point them out. Then the person will get nervous and will say something else, which is a lie. And then you point that out, and then, and then they crack. Mm-hmm. Or you could just give them the gun that hadn't been fired and just be like, see, it wasn't me. Because he wasn't fired with that gun. He wasn't shot with that gun. Oh, shit. Perhaps the criminal was clever and fired a gun prior so that he thought of that. No, because he, he said he picked up the gun and then someone else fired when he had the gun. I know, in but maybe that unfired gun was tampered with and fired previously. Because they knew that I don't. Know. All right, so what is it? Five, one, two, three, four, five. I was, uh, what is this? I was ingesting a regulation of beefsteak at the restaurant while having a tactical discussion. That is a lie! I'm gonna press him on that. Yes. Um. Hmm. Uh. Why? Why aren't you saying anything? Is this some new interrogation technique? I actually thought of uh, well, what I wanted that. It just ask about anything that catches your attention. Anything that bothers you. Uh, all right. Um, um, this beef steak, you imagine. What kind of food is that? And chuck. Beef steak is a delicious cut of veal, vigorously cooked on a cast iron grill and served piping hot. God damn it, I'm hungry. Mm-hmm. Where's Joe? Oh. If food could receive medals of honor, beefsteak would be almost as highly decorated as a cutlet. I see. Okay. Thank you. So, next question. Um, um, this cutlet. Uh, what kind of food is that? <laughs> Damn it. Cutlet is a delicious cut of veal tossed in breadcrumbs and deep fried in cooking oil. Is this game just trying to... Torment me. Accept your guilty verdict. Atone for your crimes. And when you're released from prison, try it. <laughs> yes, I will, sir. On the devil. Sorry to interrupt, uh, but how about trying to stick to questions that are relevant to the case? Okay. So, next question. Stop raising your hand, goddammit. Is it just me, or do you keep hearing a sort of... <laughs> Negative. Idris, what's up, man? Blue. There's no blue here. Well, at least we've learned that he's a big beef lover. Affirmative. Hmm. It's not easy to know. I'm a prime preference. Myself, I was extolling the virtues of a particularly fine golden curio to the military gentleman. Let's press yes. to see if he'll explain curio. I have no idea what you're talking about. A Koban, boy. A Koban? You mean an old Edo coin? The day prior to the incident, a treasure of exceptional value from the Oi Hoi period entered my possession. I took myself to the restaurant the following day with said item is secreted in my bosom pocket in the hope of an affluent 
cognoscent, oh, appraised of its uh, indisputable value being present. So, you were hoping to sell your Coban Koi to Sergeant Nosa? Yes, yes, it's quite clear where you're going with this boy. Boy. You were about to assert that the penniless soldier would have no hope of purchasing such a precious Coban. Isn't that so? Uh, no. Nah. <laughs> you little upstart cadet. I want to add disrespecting a superior officer to your list of crimes, do you? raised veal at the time was my sole prospect. At that precise moment, a firearm was discharged. I observed the enemy's actions with my own eyes. Press. So you're saying that you actually saw me at that time? Affirmative, I saw you laughing, cackling, like the madman as you trained the barrel of your gun on the English civilian. What the fuck, no, I didn't. This is it possible? Thinking carefully about the statement you just made, it seems to me that it must have been just after you heard the gunshot that you looked over to the victim's table. Well, if that really is the case, it would mean that you didn't, in fact, see the precise moment when the killer fired the gun. Ah! And double ah! My sixth sense. My sixth sense of danger. I picked up the waves of murderous energy radiating from your foul mind. Which means, a split second before you pulled the trigger, I was looking right at you, cadet. <laughs> not possible. Do you think I've gotten where I am today in the army if I couldn't sense danger in the air, son? With the baby cry. Okay, the baby cried at that statement. That means he's lying. Black uniform fire. And can from I the go, back. Can I, go, can I go at that precise moment of fire was discharged? I earned the enemy with my own eyes. So if I press again, it'll just do the same yes. thing, right? Yeah, so this is because this has already happened. It skips it real quick. Boop, 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 boop. Okay, I gotta scan through that real quick. So he didn't see me the precise moment. He comes up with a bullshit excuse that he knew he was looking at him with a stupid six cents. Okay, so the black uniform varsity cadet fired on the English civilian and from the back. So there's the inconsistency. I know. The bullet didn't go through. Okay, I'm just trying, you know, obviously you know, but I need somebody to play <laughs> off of. There's no, the bullet didn't go through, so he's going to shot from the front. And this motherfucker's lying. Ooh, didn't know what the sauce. What else do you see around here in a black uniform? Uh, my friend. See, I, I called it. I knew it. It was my friend. And from the back, you call yourself a citizen of the great empire of Nippon? Nip, Nippon.
In that case, check back over the details of the evidence you've gathered in the court record. If you find an inconsistency, then don't hold back. Present the evidence to the court, thrust it in the witness's face, and make him choke on it. Mm. I want to know where... I guess I, uh, I mean, all right, right here we could present the evidence, but I do want to press on this last bit while he's on his hands and knees because yes. he dropped it or something. On your hands and knees? Could you explain that, please? That's right. Spurning the arthritis, I was in order to retrieve the lost piece. What lost piece? Oh, Jesus. The Coban, of course, the exquisite horror era coin coin. I had just been showing the rare treasure to the military man as he masticated his meal. After averting my eyes for the briefest of moments, it was there no more. It vanished. Hence, I began to acquaint myself with the intricacies of the floor in order to locate it. And then it happened. The soldier stole it. Indeed, myself, I did not see the precise moment it occurred. Expose yourself. <clears throat> yeah, we already know where the lie is. So we gotta wait. When you find the statement and the evidence to contradict, present. Present arms. But be careful if you fuck up, you're gonna give a penalty. And we got five penalties in its top right hand corner. And you go to jail for the rest of your life. Yeah. All right, let's do it. Okay. It was the fourth statement that was incorrect. Aha! Present the picture. Yes. What are you playing at, cadet? What is the meaning of this subordination thrusting some photograph print in my mustache? Inconsistency! Inconceivable! I mean, yes. There is an inconsistency. What nonsense. What can this print possibly tell us that we don't already know? Well, obviously, that, um... I know what I want to say, but the words just won't come out of my mouth. Huh. I think this proves beyond any doubt, Your Excellency that there is no place for an amateur student here in this grand courtroom. Hmm. Ah, so frustrating. Oh, please. Surely this doesn't require an explanation. It could be more plain. To spell it out would be an insult to the court. you talking about it is apparent from the single glance at the photographer uh, print that uh, presented that there's a clear discrepancy here hey why are you taking my glory I found the inconsistency not you 
Yes, sir. What, sir? Statement you made was this. The black uniform varsity cadet fired on the English civilian and from the back, the cowardly little weasel. Yes, sir. I witnessed a crime with my yes. military great eyes. He wasn't really in the military. But no. Why not? Because, because I'm an idiot. He died from a bullet wound to the chest. Ah. According to your witness statement, the culprit shot the victim from behind. And that is the obvious discrepancy here. Hold up! <laughs> oh shit! The motherfucking baby! Ah! <laughs> uh -huh. The baby! Pops in the back and he pushed it down. He pushed the baby. There is a discrepancy. Would you not agree, Sergeant? Uh, uh, um. Yes, sir. At this juncture, uh, that would appear to be indisputable. Uh, to the moment I heard the firearm to charge. <laughs> it's a baby. That's cute, baby. It's a goddamn liar! Did not see the gun firing at all. Ooh, you're an amateur prosecutor. Third rate duelist of the fourth here. rate deck. Get the fuck out of my court. Oh, fuck. So, this is what being an ace attorney is all about. But, but I saw him. The, that university cadet there is pointing yes. to fire. The baby took the coin. But I never fired the gun. All I did was pick it up off the floor. And you, old man. You didn't see the moment the victim was shot either. Uh, myself, I have already been quite clear. I was on my hands and knees. The gunshot interested me not. I was far too busy on the floor. Oh yeah, you were looking for your coin. Indeed. The prize a hoy arrow hunting around under the table. I was, in case mayhap, it had fallen there. And then it happened. <laughs> You heard the gunshot. You know. Indeed, I did. But he did it not, for I was concerned only nothing could distract me. Did you find the coin? No. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. No doubt some unscrupulous scoundrel pocketed the prize coin for himself. I'm sure everyone present is aware that this case demands a swift and decisive resolution. Our government has promised to send a full report to Great Britain by telegraph this very afternoon. Nevertheless, the witness's testimony the court has just heard was, has in, was inconclusive. No matter how subservient our government feels, it must be to the British. It would be unforgivable to deliver a verdict on this trial. Oh, shit, this is going fast. <coughs> Worry not, I have other witnesses, maybe. The defendant may have fled at Tiger. My witnesses have further testimony. Explain. Upon hearing their next statements, it will become abundantly clear. No, you can't do that. Then there's only one person who could possibly have committed this despicable crime. Very well. Uh, invites the witnesses to testify again. What? You? How dare you? <laughs> You're just gonna change your answers, you fucking liars! 
baby. Um, excuse me, but there's something or someone peeking out over your shoulder, I think. Affirmative. The newest member of the Nosa family to rise up through the ranks, sir, named Aido. Aido? Aido Tinshu. Your father is about to quell the enemy. <laughs> Ew. Gross. Ew. Witness testimony. The true culprit. Even if what I saw wasn't the precise moment the firearm was discharged, it's almost the same thing. Nah, fucking kid. Absurd. Yes, pointing his gun at the foreign man, he was that young lad in black as much uh, that much I myself did see. Furthermore, the visual search of the premises at the time confirmed that we were the only personnel present. Indeed, alone he was, the Englishman, dining all by himself. How did nobody see this lady? Therefore, no one other than the black uniform cadet could have dispatched the Englishman. Over and out. Uh-oh, that's pretty tight. Uh, we're going to have to press to find that because there's nothing there. Wait, that's, that's, the, 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 the victim wasn't alone at all. Please, enough of these outbursts. There was a woman, there was a young woman at his table. You woman. must have seen her. And they are looking away because they are fucking lying. If you call yourself a lawyer, then you will respect the rules of the court and speak accordingly. We are not here to listen to your fantasies. It is evident beyond all reasonable doubt that the victim was alone at the time of the and the prosecution has pho uh, photographic evidence. Bullshit! Look, that's a, it's a photograph taken at a moment in time, and in these uh, photographs in this age must have taken at least seventeen minutes. Hold your pose for twenty minutes. Indeed. How much of that steak is eaten now versus in your picture? Oh shit! Who been Look nibbling? At that. Who been nibbling? Uh oh. Those Indeed, of the table at which the victim was dining, taken by the investigator immediately after the incident. As can plainly be seen, there is only one set. Certainly. So, the woman doesn't have to eat. Uh, is that Alex is concerned with how much of the steak has been eaten. I want to know. <laughs> of course. Who's been nibbling? The bottle of carbonated water and a steak lunch can be seen at the victim's table. I don't understand. What, what's going on here? How can a woman not want to eat? It's just not possible that nobody else saw that woman. I'm fucking hungry, man. The waiter before said the same thing. He maintains that Dr. Wilson came to the restaurant alone, but that's not true. I saw her. I swear I saw a woman with him. It would seem uh, we'll be able to telegraph the report to Great Britain in time after all. The witness testimonies we have just heard leave no room for doubt. These are very sensitive political times, as we all know. Draw out the truth in your cross-examination. The defense is entitled to cross-examine the witnesses. Make it quick. Uh, rules can be so unbending at times. Okay. Almost the same thing. That's all fucking yes. bullshit. No, no, no. It is not the same thing. First start, I didn't fire a gun. We have a different opinion on that. An opinion of a uniformed officer versus that of a fledgling. I don't think so.
just a moment ago I blinked. Did you see it? Did you see me blink? How could I? And yet, it is an undeniable fact that I did blink. So there you have it. What? Let us not forget the antiques dealer witnessed the accused in this most incriminating position as well. Isn't that so? Guys, we get it. We fucking get it. I'm holding the gun after you saw the shot. Mm, pointing the gun at the man. Is that really what it is? Yes. Why would you point the gun at him? But I told you already, that's only because I picked it up off the floor. Well, obviously, as the culprit, that's the only way you could explain it. Anyway, I just finished drinking my coffee and I was about to leave the restaurant when... I noticed a gun on the floor. So I picked it up. But why would you point it at him? Gunshot rang in my ears. In your case, you found a pistol on the floor and picked it up, which uh, precipitated this uh, testing predicament. Uh, whereas, uh, conversely, uh, if I fail to pick up the Coban from the floor, and find myself in an equally testing predicament as well. Oh, brother. Anyway, the fact remains, uh, myself, I did see you. With pistol in hand, standing over the foreigner. <coughs> Excuse me. Furthermore, a visual search of the premises at the time confirmed that we were the only personnel present. Indeed, alone he was, the Englishman dining all by himself. Therefore, no one other than the black uniform cadet could have dispatched the Englishman over and out. Yes! You must have noticed somebody else at the table that was a lady. As you have been at pains to point out time and time again, I'm feeling gro I'm growing callous in my ear. Callous is in my ear. Yet no one appears to have caught even a glimpse of this woman. something from pressing that one medical report card it would seem the victim had an appointment at a clinic prior to visiting the restaurant not a clinic there would indeed appear to be an entry for the date in question 19th November noon to past 1 p.m. so the victim went for a late lunch following his appointment the explanation couldn't be more simple prosecution felt no need to submit this evidence before as it really has no bearing on the case. I wonder. Withholding evidence. What do you think? Yeah, withholding evidence. It's hard to see how it could be related. You can request for it to be entered into the court record as evidence if you think it'd be useful. Should I ask mm -hmm. for... Yeah, of course. Why the hell not? Yes! If I may, I'd like to ask for the medical report card to be submitted as evidence. So that I can look at it. On, on this ground? Objection! Whether or not they are of concern is up to us to decide. 
You have no authority to refuse a perfectly valid request for a submission of evidence. Youngsters are always asserting their rights. It is a disturbing trend. <laughs> All right. Okay. Well, I am super hungry right now. I gotta go get something to eat before Joe shows up. That way, uh, we can be ready. So me, Alex, and Melissa are probably gonna go get something to eat, and then we'll come back and we will play some switch nintendo switch some super mario or mario party superstars and dread um metroid dread so stay tuned for that i'd probably say we'll be back in an, an hour maybe a little longer so i will see you guys then okay we'll see you guys in a little bit bye